When Intel launched its 12th gen core processors in October 2021, the new CPUs delivered a step change in performance and capabilities. Simply upping the clock speed and cache a bit, as had been done with the last few generations, 12th gen brought a whole host of improvements. Now, with so many people still running PCs with an Intel 9th gen processor, we thought it would be interesting to highlight the key improvements and give you 12 reasons to upgrade to 12th gen. And later on in the video, we also benchmark a 9th gen PC versus a 12th gen PC, so you can see how much difference these features really make. So, let's get started. Number one, more cores. One of the things you can count on as a PC user is that future software releases will benefit from more CPU cores. So it's a good thing then that after sticking with eight cores for a bit too long really, Intel's 12th gen processors has substantially more cores than 9th gen. How many you say? Well, the flagship Core i9-12900K has 16 cores, double that of the Core i9-9900K. And it's not just the high-end CPUs that get more cores either. The mid-range Core i5-12600K has 10 cores, and that's four more than the Core i5-9600K. Number two, hybrid architecture. More cores are always welcome, but it's not just how many cores a CPU has that's important, but what they are and how they're used. 12th gen processors are revolutionary in this way because for the first time in a PC, the CPUs have a hybrid architecture made up of two different types of core, each optimized for different workloads. First, you have the performance cores or P cores, which are tuned for single and lightly threaded code. And then there are the efficient cores or E cores, which are tuned for less intensive multi-threaded tasks. And sitting between the two types of core and the OS is what Intel calls a thread director, which intelligently allocates threads to the appropriate core. The whole process happening automatically with no user interaction required. Number three, Turbo Boost Max Technology 3. Intel 9th Gen Core processors have Turbo Boost Technology 2, which enables the processor to increase its clock frequency if it's running cool enough. 12th Gen processors have an improved version 3 of this technology, which intelligently identifies the fastest cores and allocates performance sensitive tasks to them. Number four, DDR5. Fast memory is just as critical to system performance as the CPU itself, and 12th gen CPUs support a new type of memory, DDR5. This can run up to 76.8 gigabytes per second, much faster than the 41.6 gigabytes per second DDR4 in 9th gen PCs, boosting performance in games and applications. Number five, PCIe 5 graphics. Intel's 9th gen processors trundle along with the PCIe 3 bus, which means they aren't able to make the most out of modern graphics cards, which are PCIe 4. In contrast, 12th gen processors support the latest PCIe 5 bus, so they're not only ideal for these GPUs, but will be able to take full advantage of the next generation PCIe 5 GPUs when they launch later this year. Number 6, PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. It's not just graphics cards that get a shot in the arm from a faster PCIe bus, but SSDs too. This is because older 9th gen processors can only use PCIe 3 SSDs, whereas 12th gen processors can use much faster PCIe 4 SSDs. Number seven, DMI 4.0. While big name features such as the number of cores, architecture and PCIe bus get most of the limelight when a new CPU is announced, there are less glamorous parts of a CPU that are critical for performance. And one of these is the DMI or Direct Media Interface, the bus that connects the CPU to the chipset. 12th gen processors have an all new eight lane wide DMI4, which is four times faster than four lane wide DMI3 of 9th gen processors. Number eight, two and a half gigabit ethernet LAN. Older PCs such as those with 9th gen CPUs are normally equipped with one gigabit ethernet network ports, which was plenty for most users back in 2018 when these processors launched. Wind forward to 2022 though, and one gigabit ethernet is starting to feel a bit limiting, reducing the speed at which your PC can talk to other devices on the network. 12th gen processors address this by integrating two and a half gigabit ethernet network ports, which as the name implies, are two and a half times faster than the older one gigabit ethernet ports. Number nine, Wi-Fi 6E. 
12th gen PCs got a massive speed boost when it comes to wireless networking too. Older 9th gen PCs support Wi-Fi 5, which can communicate at up to 6,933 megabits per second, whereas 12th gen PCs support the newer Wi-Fi 6E standard, which transfers at up to 9,608 megabits per second and is more secure to boot. Number 10, Bluetooth 5.2. 12th gen PCs also benefit from support from the latest 5.2 version of Bluetooth, which is used to connect devices together over short distances such as laptops, smartphones and headsets. Number 11, USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2. Another benefit of the upgraded DMI in 12th gen PCs is support for the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 ports. These run at up to 20 gigabits per second compared to the much slower 10 gigabits per second USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports found in 9th gen PCs. Number 12, Thunderbolt 4. Whilst most consumer peripherals such as keyboards and mice connect to your PC via USB, Thunderbolt remains popular with some professional video devices such as ultra-fast external drives and monitors. 9th gen PCs use the Thunderbolt 3 standard, whilst 12th gen PCs support Thunderbolt 4. So how much better is a 12th gen PC than a 9th gen PC? Now that we've identified the 12 reasons that a 12th gen PC is technically superior to 9th gen, we want to show what all these things add up to in the real world. To measure the difference, we got our award-winning 3XS systems team to build a 12th gen and a 9th gen PC. To make the comparison as fair as possible, both PCs were tested in a very similar configuration, with the same cooler, same amount of RAM, identical SSDs and graphics cards. And speaking of graphics cards, we wanted to see how much difference upgrading the CPU makes if you own a modern GPU. So we tested the incredibly popular NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. All the testing was conducted in Windows 11 Home with the latest drivers and BIOSes. The first area we wanted to look at was gaming, so we set about benchmarking both systems across a collection of seven popular games at two different resolutions, 1080p and 1440p. The games we chose were Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Cyberpunk 2077, Far Cry 6, GTA 5, Metro Exodus, Rainbow Six Siege and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now the number you've all been waiting to hear is that on average a 12th gen PC is 13% faster than 9th gen PC in games and this can be further broken down to an average speed of up to 16% at 1080p and 10% at 1440p which is due to the GPU doing more of the heavy lifting than the CPU as you increase the resolution. The next area we wanted to look at was content creation application performance, which includes tasks such as 3D modelling and rendering, which can be very taxing on the CPU. We use the 3D modelling benchmark SpecViewPerf to measure the percentage speed up when 3D modelling, and we found that the 12th gen PC was on average 10% faster than the 9th gen PC. We also use Cinebench and Blender to benchmark the speed up when 3D rendering and measured an astonishing 134% speed difference between the two PCs. The final area of performance we wanted to look at was storage, not something you'd normally associate with a CPU upgrade, but 12th gen PCs can use PCIe 4 bus to connect SSDs versus the slower PCIe 3 bus of 9th gen PCs. So using the same PCIe 4 SSD in both systems, just how much of a difference does this really make? Well, using the Crystal Disk benchmark, we measured a game-changing 46% speed up when writing data and an even more spectacular speed up of 61% when reading. This means that a 12th gen PC will boot much faster and load games and applications in a fraction of the time of a 9th gen PC. While processor and storage performance are critical metrics for showing the gains to be had when upgrading from a 9th to a 12th gen PC, we also wanted to have a look at power efficiency. Now, this is particularly important for content creators who will be sat in front of their PCs for hours at a time working on their next masterpiece. While 12th gen PCs consume 31% more power than 9th gen PCs when rendering, 
The 12th gen PC is actually more power efficient. And this is because the 12th gen PC is much more than 31% faster, so it completes the render in far less time, enabling you to keep tinkering with your project till it's perfect or simply complete it sooner. And we can show this by graphing the performance per watt of each PC when rendering in Cinebench. Now the purpose of this video was to investigate what the 12 benefits are and how much of a performance increase you can expect when upgrading from an Intel 9th gen CPU to a 12th gen CPU. We took two otherwise identical PCs, each armed with the incredibly popular GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card, and discovered that gamers will see an average speed up of up to 13%, whilst content creators could see up to as much as 134% speed up, depending on what applications you're running. What's more, content creators will also benefit from having a more energy efficient PC too. And finally, we also measured an incredible 61% SSD speed up. So make sure you check out the incredible range of 12th gen Intel PCs built by our award-winning 3XS systems team on the SCAN website. We also sell upgrade bundles comprising of a CPU, motherboard, RAM and cooler built and tested together. So all you need to do is install the bundle in the case and enjoy the benefits of your new CPU. Thank you.